Hello everyone, welcome to the second session of our tutorial. Before we begin, please ensure that you have completed the content from the previous session. In the previous class, we introduced the expression menu associated with the mobile interface in the expression system. In this session, we will delve into the animator controller part, enabling our mobile buttons to control the playback of an action. Let's start by continuing from the observation of the expression menu we explored in the previous session. Locate our custom button and referencing the existing buttons, modify the variable name to emote, set it as an integer, and change the target value to 30. This way, pressing the button on the mobile device will trigger the emote variable to switch to 30. Next, I will guide you on how to set the condition for the emote variable equaling 30 to trigger the transition to the dance animation. First, we need to find the animator controller that comes with our official SDK. We will add an action on top of the space. Navigate to Assets, greater than parameter SDK, greater than toolbox, greater than artisets, greater than animations, greater than controllers directory, and select action layer. Then double click to open the animation window. This is the built-in animator controller in the SDK, where we can configure the variables corresponding to avatar actions, allowing the avatar to enter different states when the variables change. This default animator controller already contains many default actions. We need to add our own animation at the bottom. Hold the middle mouse button and drag the view. Then right click in the empty area at the bottom. Select create state, empty, and name it dance. At this point, this state has no action associated with it. Next, we need to configure the animation into this empty state by changing the animation in the motion to proxy underscore in mode underscore swindance, which is the animation we want to trigger after pressing the button. Following this, we need to configure the transition conditions for the animation. First, configure the transition from the idle state to this action. We need to connect an arrow from launch to dance. Right click on launch, select make transition, connect the arrow to the dance state, and then configure the transition condition for this arrow, selecting in mode equals 30. As the default 1 to 29 conditions have already been set above, and check has exit time to ensure the animation can transition to another without completing the playback. Add another arrow from dance to the exit animation. Right click on the dance state. Select make transition. Connect the arrow to the exit state. Select the arrow and check has exit time. Ensuring that the animation completes before transitioning back to idle. And add the condition in mode not equal to 30 and not equal to 0. Indicating that the dance animation will play when in mode equals 30. Next, we need to understand a component for adjusting weights. Click on the waiting node and observe the pair playable layer control component on the right side. In Unity, when you play an animation, it will override other animations with lower weights. If this component is not present, setting the weight of the idle animation to zero will cause the proxy underscore idle animation to play continuously. Preventing normal walking, click on the robot node, click on the root node on the right. Under Action, select Action Layer. Since we have made modifications to the default action layer, we need to configure it on the root component for it to take effect. We will upload the character and wait for about 5 minutes to test it on the mobile device. Click on the latest uploaded avatar, select the Expression button on the right, and you will find the Expression button we just added at the bottom. Click the Dance button, and the robot will successfully transition to the dancing pose. Today's assignment. Place a meta screenshot of your avatar on the mobile platform, showcasing the configured expression. 